So once again, <clears throat> so we will speak about the cloud client computing, which is for us very, I mean for the very, very interesting era. In this era, as you probably know, a lot of customers are interesting about any kind of distributed virtualization because of for a lot of a customer there, uh, there are benefits and there are special things where they can <clears throat> save the money, where they can uh, protect their investments into IT. And from this point of view, it's a very interesting area for <coughs> a lot of vendors. And of course, Dell is one of them. Currently, we are the vendor which are able to provide a complete and to end infrastructure for desktop virtualization. We are in a very good partnership with the main players and the leaders on the, on the <coughs> market, I mean software vendors like Microsoft, Citrix, VMware, and of course, uh, we Workspace is. So in my presentation, we will speak shortly about <coughs> things which are connected into cloud, cloud computing. So we will speak about the, shortly about the challenges which are mentioned there, about the partnering with Dell, what we are doing, what are the benefits for customer if they choose the Dell solution. And completely about the everything what, are able to, what Dell is able to do for you <coughs> and how. If you will continue in the beginning, uh, I only want to mention some topics which are interesting, which helps you and me to understand what is Dell, why is Dell thinking about this area. So <clears throat> managing desktops, which are just now, is one of the pain, <coughs> pain which uh, customers are solving. And uh, virtual desktop is able to, some of these issues help to solve. Of course, it's only technology. So it means that there is not any technology on the world who exactly fits to any customer <coughs> for, for their troubles. But uh, that's true that uh, desktop virtualization is really one of the technology which can help in you know, these main areas we will speak about. And that's why Dell is trying to be in you know, this business. We are, able to comp we are able to deliver everything which is mentioned here, here. So it means the cases from security, we are able to deliver applications or data into any <coughs> kind of device. We are able to reduce all of expenses which are connected with uh, PCs, with endpoint units and the other things. We are able to find the right scenario for customers, how to work with endpoints, how to help save some money. We are speaking about the bring your own device concept program and about the everything. We are able to deliver really the right solution based on customer requirements which are there. And this main area only helps us is the customer to recognize what are the main pain which customer needs to solve. If you are speaking about the virtual desktops, I don't know how many of you has the experience, have the experience with uh, virtual desktops. Uh, is there in a, in a, is, 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 is anybody there who has implemented virtual desktop solution? Can you hands up? One from the wall auditorium, great. So if you will speak only shortly about uh, what exactly the virtualization is, probably the best <coughs> what can describe this, if you can imagine uh, television and the radio broadcasting. It is probably the best what, how you can imagine how desktop is working. So it means that on the one side, you have anything which is providing to you programs on your television or on your video. And it means for desktop virtualization, it is uh, any data center where all of virtual desktops are stored together with the applications and data. Then we have some possibility how to, not possibility, but we have to somehow deliver data applications into the endpoints. So this can be something like airwaves. So it means that you have to deliver it. In case of uh, IT technology, you can imagine there's something like networking technologies which you can use, router switches, optimization for WAN and WAN networks and the other things around. And the finally, on the last stage, which is a front of you, can be television or radio, or in case of uh, IT, it can be any kind of endpoint device. It can be smartphone, it can be notebook, PC, tablet, whatever you want. And this is exactly how virtual desktop is working. This idea is not so new about desktop virtualization. 
there are discussions for a lot of years. But it's true that in the last <coughs> few years, it is really, really um, tip, topic which is uh, accepted by a lot of uh, customers. And just now, a lot of them are thinking about uh, any kind of desktop or application virtualization and trying to save some money to go with uh, this solution. How can help you? How can desktop virtualization help not you, but, but end user customers and, uh, and the companies and everything around? For sure, empower work, the, work space, the workforce. So it means that uh, if everything is stored in the center, because centralization is the main concept for desktop virtualization, in this case, you and your, your users will be able to easily connect and access <coughs> to their data, desktops, applications, maybe colleagues, because uh, in the most of technologies is included uh, technologies which are supporting uh, uh, technologies like Microsoft Link and the other things for, for user communication. Of course, it helps optimize IT resources. It is one of the benefits of virtualization. Just now we are speaking about the virtualization on a server side, but of course we can use virtualization, we have to speak about the virtualization on the end user point side because of this virtualization can be on a, your your devices. If you have an Apple tablet or something like this, in this case, you can use Windows applications on it. If you have any kind of uh, devices, still you can use Windows desktop or applications without any issues. Of course, one of the another things which can help is uh, improve security because of we are speaking again about the centralization concept. So this means that all of data and the applications are secured in the data centers. So NASIC is going outside. If uh, some of your users will uh, lose the unit or, or will be stolen to him, it depends. So don't worry about any applications on the data. Easily, you lost the device. It costs some money, of course, but you lost only the device and not your data, which are, which are critical for uh, your organizations. And of course, you are able to manage the codes. Again, on the centralized side, in the server side, you are easily, easily able to predict how many costs each of virtual desktop for you as a for company, how many costs you have to spend if you want to enlarge it, if you want to use new devices and all what else. And on the other side, of course, uh, everything is managed and for you is uh, available to use a concept like mentioned, bring your own device or anything like this because of uh, does it not make to sense what kind of device is on endpoint because everything is from your side from server side is provided in some standard standard way so this is for sure four main things which can help you in a virtualization of uh, of a servers and what just now we are speaking about the virtualization and what exactly is Dell cloud client computing this is only set of uh, hardware and a software components which enables to Dell to provide to his customer a really complete solution for a virtual desktop. So on the one side we have a data center components. I want to mention that it will be it will be detailed described after few, in, in a few minutes after my presentation when my colleague will continue. Uh, what we have there, we have uh, possibility to deliver endpoint devices and which uh, with between all of this, uh, both of these uh, components, we have of course some software part which is necessary to be there. And of course, finally, we are able to provide complete software solution. It means everything from server side to client side with all of technologies which are supporting virtual desktops for the better performance, for, I don't know, better um, multimedia connectivity and, and I don't know what else. So this is exactly what in Dell mean cloud client computing. It is not only server, it is not only networking, it is not only endpoint device and software, but it is everything together. I think this is a very unique on the market and just now Dell is the only company who is able to provide you this everything. Desktop virtualization is really, uh, really interesting technology and uh, we are trying to speak with the customers about really need. We don't like to sell only VDI technology if it's not really necessary because of, as each of technology, 
uh, there are some costs, there are some investment necessary behind, and uh, we want to speak with the customer why he needs it, what is behind, what is the request, and depends on the information we receive, we are able to communicate which kind of scenario, how to deliver desktop or application will be the right for him. So we are able to work with, with them on a, let's say, application, uh, presentation application. So it means something like terminal services based on Microsoft uh, uh, remote desktop <coughs> services or about the Zen app from Citrix or their v v v v workspace. It means very, very cost effective ways how to deliver desktops or virtualized application is depends to the customer. Very, very effective ways with the best <clears throat> with the best TCO ratio from the rest. Of course, except of this, we are able to work on operating system presentation. It means to deliver units which are there. Uh, we are able to use some shared possibilities. It means when, uh, think, uh, when uh, virtual desktops are stored or some very, very strong server and a lot of uh, virtual desktops are running on this, on this device. This is exactly one of those things we can use there. It can be with virtual desktop, pardon, or it can be for a smaller, um, smaller groups of users, for example, in the classrooms, in the school, when they are using uh, Microsoft uh, multi-point server, and to this server are connected endpoint devices, which are sharing uh, the resources from the server are able to work, sorry. VDI, as I mentioned before, it is that, uh, so virtual desktop can be stored on the server. Yes, it's one of the possibility. We can work there with the Citrix, VMware, Microsoft, Dell VV workspace. And the last thing we have there is a cloud PC. Cloud PC is something special we have there. Uh, usually it is device without any operating system. And usually we are offering it for customers, for example, in the education segment. It means for a customer who cares about the classrooms. And in this classroom, every single day are sitting different customers or different students which are using one day Windows 7, another day Windows 8, another day Linux, another day whatever you want. So in this case exactly we can offer a cloud PC with the software components which are there which allows to the customer use every single day, every single reboot of the device streamed different operating system, different applications and you can use this device with a different <clears throat> with the different environments on it. So this is the basic models which are, which is they just now able to, to provide it to you and we can work on it. Virtual desktop just now is nothing special on the market. We cannot say that there is any dedicated segment on the market which is really a uh, hero for virtual desktops. Absolutely not. In a current situation, virtual desktops are across all of the markets, so there are no any specialties. We have a customers in a, in a government, we have customers from uh, education segment, healthcare, mm, manufacturing, utilities. In every segment, uh, in every segment which is on the market, you can find virtual, virtual desktop solution because of easily, it really can help to the customer delivery applications, care about desktops, manage desktops, manage applications, and manage the users. What are the main benefits of a cloud client computing? As I spoke before, improve end-to-end -end security and disaster recovery. Easily, if you have any device, you are able to connect to your virtual desktop, which is sitting in your server room. If your, sender, if your server room or data center will be damaged, I don't know, flutes or something like this, in this case, each company has uh, something like uh, f uh, another, another site where you can be reconnected. And in this case, you are able really to work. So this is really secure for your device. You can connect from any device on, and disaster recovery because your, your server data centers are much more secure than, than standard equipment. Simplify management, yes, mainly we are speaking about centralization so you can easily manage what are, what uh, your uh, users can do on the virtual desktops on the application, how they can work with this, where they can store the data, how they can download the data from your systems and the other things around. Of course, accelerate time to value with pre-configured solution because of it's relatively easy to add new devices into your, or new users and devices into, into your environment. Uh, variety of uh, desktop virtualization options, 
not only VDI or not only street application, not only terminal services, but you can use it all together. Depends on which kind of your users are need, are um, requesting for a <coughs> for a different different solution. Predictable performance we spoke about is together with the with the virtual with the centralization and a single point contact for all of components because everything is centralized, so you don't need to care about the silos. So something is wrong on the way between the servers, on the services going well, on the network end there are something, some troubles, some troubles are on the endpoints. No, we are not thinking in a silos like uh, server, networking, security, firewall, endpoint device. Things uh, virtual desktop, you can think only about the one piece of this, so you can manage everything from one place. Which of course has the impact for any administrator education and things around. So currently, if you are speaking about the server side, we are able to provide to the customers uh, pre-configured, optimized, and certified solutions, which can help you easily, easily work with uh, virtualization desktop concept. Uh, you can use these devices from smaller quantity of users up to really big environments. You are easily able to work with this, mainly if you are interesting to make proof of concept or something like this. So in this case, you are able to choose smaller device, which is pre-configured. You only put it out of the box, set up shortly in a few minutes or tens of minutes, and you can start to work and try to test what is what is there. Of course, it's going up. We are able to deliver devices which are appliances which are much more much more performed. Of course, the bigger <coughs> possibility for the bigger infrastructure together with the um, storages, with the networking, and with all of things around. With the main software vendors and the players on the market, Microsoft, Citrix, VMware, V Workspace, it depends. We are able to provide you really solution for uh, desktop as a service or, or things around. Dell, uh, both WISE in May 2012, and from this year, really Dell has a complete portfolio. And from this time, Dell is really working on uh, all of components which are behind to make them maximally optimized. So just now, we are able to sell for, let's say, every customer the right solution, which is built on a server side. Probably the most selling just now are servers uh, R7, 720 which are which has a really great performance, really great possibilities. Just now, new vertex technology starts to be very interesting for desktop virtualization. We have a nice portfolio of storages, Equalogic, Powerful, everything like this you can use and it's really up to you what are your requirements and Dell is able to provide you the right solution. And of course, Dell networking, which is going together with, uh, with uh, managed software which is behind the Dell technology. So this everything is set up to provide the maximal performance with the affordable price and affordable <coughs> conditions for, for the customer. Only would like to mention the Vertex, which just now seems to be a very interesting solution for us SMB customer, which is, as you probably know, the device where is integrated uh, server itself, the computing power, where is integrated uh, possibility for storage, possibilities for networking. And just now it is one of the things which are really, really accelerated, pardon, really uh, communicated by Dell because of it is one of the things which has probably just now no competition on the market. It is a really unique, unique device and unique solution. If you are speaking about the endpoint units, probably all of you knows Dell as a company who is able to sell PCs, notebooks, tablets, of course. Just now you have to count with thin in zero clients. This is really a specialty we currently have. We are able to provide really what, what you know, what, 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 you, what you need and what you, what you want. If you are speaking about the cloud clients, which is our portfolio, it is the legacy Vice, Vice products. <coughs> we are able to offer, let's say, three or four main forms. We have a small compact form, which is there, small devices, which are runs on an operating system. It can be Windows, it can be Tin OS, which is a special operating system developed by Wise, or it can be Linux. Then we have a little bit bigger devices, which providing better computing performance, dual or quad-core CPUs, depends on you. 
with the possibility to extend it for another graphic card, with the possibility to extend for SSD drives if you need to store some applications locally and everything around. This really excellent computing power. And other things we have there are devices which are working. Tomáš, can you, can you give me Cloud Connect? Can you give me Cloud Connect device? So it means the devices which are just now available in a, in a form of a notebook, uh, so you can use it, of course, with possibility to add there, uh, I don't know, SSD drive if you want, or something like this. And something what is really special by now is a solution which is a Cloud Connect. It looks exactly like this, small USB. It is a dual core unit inside, so you can, uh, you can plug it into TV through HDMI connector or into, into monitors, it depends. Inside is uh, operating system from Android and you can use everything uh, on this device. There's a possibility to connect through Wi-Fi, it's possibility to connect through 3G card and I don't know what else. And this is a real, really special device we currently have with end user price about the 100, I don't know, 20 dollars or something like this. It is really, really special for the people who are coming around the market, who needs to be connected. Uh, this device is the right solution we currently have. If you know, if you want to need something more about it, please come to the Dell booth. We will speak about you with this. We will present it, show you what this device is able to, able to do. But this is really special what we currently have. And of course, except of hardware, we as a Dell device has, uh, spe have special <coughs> software parts which is mentioned there, which presents, I don't know, six or seven software which really supports virtual desktop solution. You will be able to manage devices, you will be able to manage application, make streaming application operating system and everything around as a software part of this. Currently we have uh, three main uh, three main values uh, of three main levels of devices from a, from a devices which are relatively relatively small and easier to much more performed devices. It really depends on uh, customer request what exactly he needs to do because of usually you are not able to develop one device or or implement one device for all of the company because of your user has the different requests. One needs to work with a PDF, another one wants to work or have to work with, I don't know, some maps or I don't know what else. So from these reasons, we are able to, op to offer you exactly the solution which uh, best fits to your, to your things around. Why consider <coughs> cloud clients? It's, it's relatively easy because of it is a secure solution. All of the concept, not only the units, <laughs> but all of this concept is really secure. And of course, it is cost effective. Don't think about the thin clients like about a solution which is about a tenth of percent cheaper than standard PC. It is a little bit cheaper, of course, but the difference is not so big. But what is the difference between a thin client and a PC is something what is behind. Another investment you have to do to PCs, implement, secure, protect, and I don't know what else. This is unmanaged, and this is exactly what in case of uh, cloud clients is already included in this. So the first purchase is, let's say, on a similar way, but after it, all of additional fee you have to pay in a PCs for rollout uh, and all else. Everything just now is uh, out of this in case of thin clients, and really you are reducing your TCO, you are able to manage it in a, in a better way. Dell is able to help you with uh, all of things around. We are really able to help you uh, speak with you about your requirements, try to offer you the right solution based on your requirements. There are a lot of people in Dell who can, who can help you. Uh, in, this port in this slides we want to show that uh, really we are able to offer you the solution which is best fit to you. If you have a possibility to build your own in your data center, great, we have a solution for you. If you don't like waste your money and would like to use any solution from cloud, it means that uh, you are looking for a solution which will run outside of your company on a, some, some data centers around the world. In this case, you can use Dell too because we are running virtual desktops from our data centers. So there are really possibilities which we can provide to you and depends on you and your requests which are there, we are able to, to help you. We care about our portfolio. 
uh, still we are going uh, with uh, acquisitions. Still we are trying to get the best what is on the market to provide a really completed solution which helps you not only from hardware but of server parts too, which really, really need. So you can see just now that uh, all of vendors which are mentioned there have something to do and in the most cases small vendors which are very, very interesting by the customers because they are providing a unique solution in this area, like for example, Sonic Wall is wise, it was the same, Equalogic and the others. This is really where we are working just now and we are able to provide you benefits which is from uh, working this product together. And the last slide which I have there, <coughs> I would like to mention that uh, WISE is a care about, uh, let's say, uh, endpoint business for a long time. The company has been established, I think, 1985 or something like this. And from this, all the time is care about the uh, endpoint devices. So more than 200 patents, technological patents, which are on the market, which are only connected to, uh, to think clients, makes from Vice really leader on the market, or Dell Vice currently, the leader on the market in case of think clients devices. Of course, we are able to provide end-to-end uh, -end ecosystems between data centers, software, services, all of things which were, which were discussed before. We are working uh, together with the customers. We are able to work through partners. It really depends on your requirement. If you have some of preferred partners which are, <coughs> which are working for you, we have no, no any troubles with this to communicate with them and through these partners provide you, provide you Dell, Dell Vice solution. That was everything from my first part. Just now I would like to uh, ask Vladimiras to continue more deeply about, uh, about uh, uh, technical part of, of the solution. Only would like to mention, if you have any question to the presented client cloud solution. We have no, we have a possibility to invite you to Dell booth where we can speak, uh, speak with you with my pre-sell colleague about your technical question with me. We can speak about the possibility for some sizings and the things around. So you are really invited and thank you for your attention. Hello, my name is Vladimir Silkovas. I will briefly uh, present some maybe infrastructure things that, that wasn't presented before or mention it a bit. Uh, we have uh, really done a great job so on the desktop virtualization and Dell is awarded many, many times in this area. Uh, and uh, as was mentioned before, we have our uh, own maybe uh, solution, uh, maybe in other words, we are able to provide end-to-end -end solution based uh, on uh, Dell virtualization software as well. So of course the hypervisor must be from uh, some third, third party, but we uh, can supply with the OEM software, OEM operating system, giving the customer uh, the solution, full solution, just from the one vendor. <coughs> This is uh, quite uh, uh, important for many of the customers because they have the limited IT resources usually and uh, to have just one ma managing con console for, for whole infrastructure including uh, uh, virtualization, uh, hardware, networking, uh, storage and servers, it, for them it's very important. Uh, otherwise, it's, uh, the solution becomes too more complex and uh, it's uh, very difficult to manage them. And uh, what is interesting that our VDI cost per one seat is, uh, 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 is leading on the market. So, Actually, including uh, with the implementation and support, the cost is a bit higher, close to uh, $300, but it is really cheaper than, than the others are giving. Uh, together with uh, solution, we of course, our solution is based on our hardware, which is uh, industry leading hardware. So, as for us, we have really great density in the blades. We are, for example, able to put uh, 32 blade servers, two socket servers, to one enclosure. It's uh, two times uh, more than competition is doing. And uh, the hardware solution becomes as well to to a bit uh, 
cheaper from this point and the total solution, the VDI solution, the cost of the solution becomes again cheaper than, than the others are, uh, are doing on the market. Uh, we are now number three or four, sometimes it depends how, count, how to count the uh, business from the networking side. We are not, uh, maybe not all of you know, but we are number three in the networking. Uh, sometimes uh, number four. It depends on, on the you know speed of the ports, how to count it. But uh, the m main benefit is coming uh, that the customer has usually the one console for the management. It's simply uh, and it, it, it isn't costly for them. As a proof of the concept, we can give uh, one small server, and you can test the full solution. Uh, uh, in your company, and then of course, uh, what what is included? It, the, uh, there is the one server, uh, the software, uh, some of course uh, wireless clients, and you can test it. You can, uh, let's say, give for the uh, employees to to work, and after that, of course, you uh, coming to our partner and to Dell. And we are making the right sizing for your VDI solution based on your business needs, based on the load of, from, from the user side. It could be one of the solutions could be based on the Vertex. It's our unique uh, uh, server, unique technology. Uh, everything is in one box. I would say data center in the one box. There is possibility to put four servers and to have the shared storage and save the user data on the, on the storage. Uh, KVM, uh, everything is included, uh, so it's very, very easy to manage it. And as I, as I told, this is the unique product on the market. So for the uh, heavy users, uh, uh, if they're using uh, the, some uh, heavy applications from the graphical point, some videos, uh, maybe HD videos, we are improving the performance of uh, VDI, putting the uh, graphic accelerators inside of the servers. And for the bigger customers, we of course can size a more complex solution based on Dell storage, networking, servers. The uh, solution will, of course, it depends on the number of the users, number of type of users, uh, what is the requirements for the storage capacity, and so on and so on. We have uh, industry leading the storage on the market. It's very, very fast uh, iSCSI solution. For example, one controller has two uh, 10 gig uh, active ports. With the full duplex, you are getting uh, 20 gigs uh, per port. So uh, this uh, storage is really high virtualized. It's possible to use uh, SSD disks, uh, SSD disks, uh, SATA disks. It depends of, on, on the needs uh, of IOPS and of the capacity, of course. And uh, as I mentioned, it, we have a really flexible portfolio uh, to give uh, all possible benefits. Uh, this slide shows that not all users are the same in VDI. Some of them are really very light users, they are just maybe browsing some internet and reading some emails. <coughs> but some users are more heavy. Uh, most probably powerful users are using uh, video or audio. Some uh, maybe AutoCAD applications, they doing some heavy job. Uh, depends on these users, we are making the right, right sizing of the VDI solution for you. Because some customers are trying VDI, they are not satisfied to, uh, with the, the performance, and they are dropping the solution at all. But it, uh, in real life, we need to understand, and you need to understand, the user needs, uh, what they are doing in the network, and then, of course, we can together with the partner uh, propose for the user the right VDI solution. <coughs> um, Using the rock mountable servers, we have as well the graphical accelerators for the, uh, the heavy users who are working uh, with the graphics. And uh, in such kind of solution, we can run up to 75 or even sometimes more users per the server. 
the big portfolio from the endpoint devices and uh, <coughs> Uh, as we mentioned a few times, we are able to provide the end-to-end -end solution for the customer, giving the best price because everything is coming like one big scope from the one vendor. So, in case you need uh, more information about uh, our VDI solution or V workspace, our own virtualization, you can come to our exhibition place uh, and we can discuss because we have a lot of the people, technical people and software specialists as well available. We can discuss a bit and help you maybe to implement the VDI. Uh, I tried to be very fast and finish it maybe a bit earlier. It, didn't got any notification that I'm using much more time. So maybe you have the questions. What about the USB devices that say smart card readers? The smart card readers? Yeah, Do it. yeah. the smart card readers in uh, thin yeah. clients in terminals. Uh, we have a terminals. Uh, uh, yeah, thank you. We have a terminals with uh, smart card readers uh, inside. And uh, you can also choose the, uh, our terminals and special keyboard with uh, uh, smart card reader. So uh, there's two possibilities. We support uh, most of the um, vendors. Yeah. yeah. Most of credit cards as well. Right. <laughs> yeah also external devices on the USB, so if you have some, it's no problem to map it. Or, and uh, of course we have a special software, uh, it's named TCX, which can um, direct the USB from the device to the terminal session natively, so every device could be connected. Uh, it means that you can use uh, CD burners, twin scanner, or, or any other device like a special smart card leader if you have some. Yeah. It's tested with Estonian ID card as well, no? Yep, sorry? It's tested with Estonian ID card uh, applications too. Uh, I don't know. A bit different. <laughs> yeah? Because yeah. Yeah. Okay. I have tested those uh, keyboards and they work well. But uh, uh, the vendor says it's not supported. Not supported, okay, yeah. <laughs> As I said, we have uh, TCX software. If you need more information, I can provide you at our, at, uh, our exhibition booth. Um, and uh, it allows you to uh, redirect USB natively to the virtual machine or to the session. So no matter what you are connecting to your uh, physical devices like terminal or PC, uh, you will get it on the, on the session. So. Uh, if it's working on normal PC station with Windows, it probably will be working on the VDI. Yeah. More questions? How many uh, NAT users does one uh, firewall support? It is written two cards. How many? What about one? How many users in CAD program uh, does the CAD support? Uh, as far as I remember, one server can run up to, up to 75 heavy graphical users. It's written with two. With it's two. written two cards. Yeah, with two cards. But one. I think that, I think that uh, twice less. Twice divided by two, right? Yeah, something like that. Uh, we, of course, uh, recommending as well, you know, some fast storage because it depends on the uh, business of the customers. We currently have the project in Lithuania and customer is working <coughs> with the graphics quite heavily and not just graphics but uh, with video. So they are producing, you know, these Blu-ray films actually, everything they're storing on the storage and they planning to use the VDI as well, so we, in, in stage we are designing the solution for them. <coughs> but <coughs> uh, one more thing, just would like to remind you that as a proof of the concept, you can uh, use this opportunity and to take the solution from us. 
test it and then we can help you uh, to move to maybe the next stage increasing your company you know security or all, all stuff what, what video is giving so So uh, it depends what kind of uh, virtualization you will be doing uh, in terms of uh, virtual workstation because uh, you can choose between shared desktop, it means that you have uh, hardware, then some hypervisor and then Windows Server and share one Windows Server to the several uh, customers, several users, yeah? and then you need uh, RDS license for the connection yes you should also license this uh, virtual uh, windows server yes and that's all yeah uh, if you choose real vdi real vdi i mean hardware and then hypervisor and then uh, virtual machine with windows 7 windows 8 yes uh, you need to license uh, this virtual machines so you need vda license for this uh, another license you need for the connection between endpoint and the virtual Windows 7. Uh, the connection will be covered by Microsoft, so you need RDS or uh, Citrix Zen Desktop license or uh, VMware View license. It depends what technology uh, you will choose. Uh, and you need, of course, endpoint device. Um, it depends, but normally you don't need any license there. If you choose uh, simply FinOS, you don't need anything. If you choose Windows-based device, the license is uh, included inside device, or Linux is the same, so so no troubles. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much for your attention. We just have one minute, so if uh, there is no more questions, or you probably will have uh, some questions later, some confidential questions, you can come to our desk. So, thank you very much.